Hey guys! So last week I showed you how to do your very own gel manicure at home and today I'm going to show you how to remove it. So basically all you have to do is remove the shine from your nails and don't forget to break the seal around the free edge also. Then you just want to apply your aluminum foil making sure that it's shiny side up and apply your cotton pad saturated in either acetone or you can use the remover that comes with the brand that you're using. But the most important step is to make sure that this fits very snug otherwise the liquid is going to evaporate. Now this is how I would normally remove my gel but I decided to get this product to try out just to see if it would be quicker. So normally I would have to sit there and basically cut every single piece of film myself and it could take a little bit of time but this product is a pack that has a pre-moistened cotton pad in there and all you do is remove the film from the adhesive portion and that allows you to fold it over your nail like a band-aid. Now when I first used this product which was in this video I was actually a little bit scared because I was afraid I wouldn't have a tight enough seal but it wasn't too bad. If you stay still they will stay on so that was good to hear. So now I just basically leave that on for five minutes and this may differ depending on how long that you've had your polish on as well as which brand you're using so always check their instructions. And as you can see a lot of the gel came off on its own which is what it should do. So the final step is just to remove any polish that may still be left on the nail and you want to do this very gently. If the nail polish does not come off, do not force it. What you want to do instead is actually just soak your nails even longer until it comes off. Otherwise you will start to lift some of the layers of your nails and that is not good. Then all that's left is of course to clean the nails and absolutely rehydrate them with cuticle oil. You want to rub that into the entire nail plate and then we're done guys. However, I used a soak off gel. Now basically what that means is that the gel is soft and flexible. There's also hard gel and what that means is that you basically have to file it off because acetone just won't break it down. One of the most common questions that I get is, is using gel safe for your nails? And the short answer is yes, if you use it properly. So be sure to check the description box below because I'm going to put all of the information that I can't squeeze into this two minutes right there. Of course, I know you guys have been patiently waiting for some fall nail looks, so I've got these tortoise nails coming next week. 